Hey everyone, Sean from Cross RC. So, I have another truck for you to look at today. This one, I spent a little bit of time looking through the manual because I realized on the DC-8 there's a lot of pieces I didn't understand what they are. Turns out some of them were suspension pieces, a lot of them were exterior detail. This is going to be the same. Oh, what is this? It's BT-8. So we finally got a few of these in stock. The, the website still says pre-order. We're kind of kind of going to see how they, they sell before we bring any more in. So I do have a few at the store. But we're going to unbox one tonight. I'm going to show you what's inside and kind of go through a few things with you. Uh, one thing right away I will tell you, according to the instructions, you need at least eight channels to run this. You need three servos, two for steering. You need a uh, standard size servo for those and a standard size servo for the two speed. There's two motors for the turret and it requires two 80 amp speed controls. So keep that in mind. There's a, a lot of electronics in this and I'll kind of explain as we go through here the reason for that. So rather large box again super heavy these weigh a little over 30 pounds for the box itself um, so first off okay, so we'll just kind of go through the pieces here a little bit cover plate for the out drive looks like because this is a uh, this is completely waterproof and floats so there is a the reason there's two ESCs is there is a, a prop drive as well as the gear drive for the motor system and the prop has its own speed control. So there's just a cover plate and a few pieces for that. Uh, some pieces for the scale shocks. Build manual. This is a fairly thick manual. Yes, there are some revisions in the manual already. Please read the manual because there is a lot here. And again, same with the DC-8 and the XT-4. If you find something that's a discrepancy in the manual, although supposedly they went through this, uh, Cross had a guy build one overseas to make sure the manual was legible and it made sense and all the parts were there. If you do see something that you think needs to be addressed, please let us know. Uh, where do I begin even? There's a lot of stuff in here. So, this is our bag of electronics. There is a 35 turn motor. Now this is the one for the prop. There is a separate motor for the gear drive. Here are your two motors for the turret. All of your lights and wiring. And I thought this was pretty cool. We were kind of laughing about this at the store the other day when we saw this. You get two tow cables. Now these are not the cheap little tow cables that you would get normally with say your other 10 scale truck. These are in fact aircraft grade looks like braided steel cable with cast eyelets on it. And these, these things are no joke. They're actually pretty heavy duty but for a truck that weighs well over 30 pounds if you're gonna hook something up to it you probably want a decent tow cable. So these are pretty nice actually. And the cat's in the box, so whoever buys this one, hopefully you like cat hair. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, here are the suspension pieces. So it is upper and lower A-arm. Suspension brackets, drive hubs. Actually, those are just, uh, looks like extra wheel hexes there. Because the drive hubs are in a different bag. Those are actually in here, the aluminum drive hubs for your wheels. You also have your axle shafts, your uh, CVDs, double, double carbon CVDs. Uh, we have a tool kit with all your tools, including a uh, four way wrench, a little offset wrench, a gift bag with some extra shims and o rings. That's kind of nice. I am not going to have enough room here. Um, this is the turret, or I'm sorry, the barrel for the, the uh, gun, as well as 
all of these these steel links in here this is all your steering linkage that has to be built for the truck because again with two servos uh, steering eight wheels there is a lot of linkage that runs back and forth in the bottom of the chassis that basically has to work together to make all eight wheels turn obviously the front ones and the rear ones the most and then the center axles don't turn as far here is all your light lenses as well as your uh, windows for the front I don't know if there's windows in the rear I didn't see anything that side panels for the turret other exterior detail pieces like I said there'd be exterior detail pieces and of course there is here's more exterior detail pieces these are like little hatch covers for the back I mean there is a lot of a lot of exterior detail pieces that are pretty slick. Here's a little bag with, let's see, looks like a mounting plate, some brackets, could be the mirrors. I guess I went through most of it just to see what was in here, but there are still a few things in here that I don't understand what they are. So this is the uh, scale exhaust. These are your exhaust. And there's a, a door on the side here. I know there's another package in here somewhere I thought there was. It has like the main hatches for the front and then the big hatches for the rear. This is all of your brass top hat bushings and other shim pieces for the steering because again there's eight wheels that steer. There's going to be somewhere here's a bag with eight knuckles. Uh, this is all belt drive, so you've got main belts, and then this little belt here is actually for the uh, propeller drive. Because there's actually a whole other gearbox for that, and I'll show you that when, that when we get to it. So here's the main part of your turret, and given the size of this thing, it should give you an idea of how big this truck is. Just the turret is probably probably a good five inches in diameter so that's pretty slick here is our tires kind of another new pattern I don't know if you can see that or not I find this kind of funny spelt tires the American way whereas on some other other packages it's still spelled the European way with a Y here is the front Steel skin plate for the chassis. Here is your main chassis plate. This is what all of your A arms for your torsion bar suspension and all of your steering linkage attached to. Um, hopefully, it's the spinning in in frame because this is a pretty long chassis. I think overall it's about the same length as a BC8. No, cat, you don't fit in that box. Here is the bottom of the turret. Notice there are teeth molded into this because, again, it is motorized. So you can actually turn the turret and raise and lower the barrel. This is the clear Lexan, I think it's Lexan, um, cover that covers all the electronics in the chassis. This gets bolted down to the main part of the chassis. So this is supposed to more or less waterproof it. Keep all the mud and everything else out of the interior of the chassis where your servos and the electronics sit down there. And we have, this is actually your battery tray that goes into the back of the chassis. This is one of the few things I had to look up to see what it was because uh, it didn't make sense. But this is actually underneath the main part of the chassis, or the main top of the, the uh, assembly, and then your battery sits in that. We have another bag of door panels and hatches. You are the most annoying cat, you know that? This is your wheel covers, hub covers for the uh, wheels, which are right here. So these are your wheels. They are a steel three-piece bead lock like everybody else's steel wheels and all the cross wheels. I think that's actually a wheel they've used before in some of the other military trucks. 
um, a package of link ends again because of all the steering links you have to build in this you're going to need several of these in order to build all those links so there's that this is the uh, drive for your propeller in the back the actual housing for it now you do have to build this as well this is your input and then the belt drive and your output are on this side and this gets mounted again into the chassis so annoying good thing you're cute though uh, more exterior detail pieces looks like hydraulic lines the things that go across the front and I look at that picture as well too even more exterior detail pieces grab handles hooks actually have to build two hooks it looks like they go on the front of the vehicle grab handles we're not even close to being done yet so. here is your main hatches for the front these are side detail pieces that go in the middle of the chassis for uh, between the front and rear drive sets main hatches on the side I think the rear hatch is, if I remember right, yep, here, here, rear hatch, these are rather big doors, so we got those, here is a large bag of hardware, so there is everything from these little tiny micro screws to the standard size hardware for building the kit, This is, these little boots here are actually what covers the torsion bars for scale appearance. And again, another little hatch cover on there as well. Here is our bag of bearings. There's also shims, coil springs, and your little scale uh, shovel and axe on here, as well as hex pins. In this bag, we have all the bracketry for mounting your torsion bar suspension to the chassis, as well as these L-shaped arms are for the, or not the suspension, the steering linkage to cross from one side to the other, and again, to attach the front and rear axle. So there's several of these are gonna be built throughout the entire chassis. It does give you specific dimensions on the arms, so make sure you follow that precisely because that will ensure that your truck not only tracks straight when you're driving, but turns like it's supposed to. And then this is all of your axle, your, your not your axle, your, uh, your C-hubs and your bearing carriers for each axle or each wheel. So there's eight of those and eight of these. And then this is pretty cool. This is your motor for the uh, actual drive and your two-speed all in one unit. Unique thing about this, your outdrive is actually here. And then your two-speed on this side. So this is a pretty slick setup, all fully built. Um, like anything else ready to run, I would probably at least use the manual to check this to make sure it's greased properly before you run it. A lot of the times they are greased, sometimes they are not. This kind of depends on the manufacturer, so be sure to check that. Here's another, so this is the actual gear for this, so I will put that in here. I believe that's that one. Um, and then we have somewhere in here is a really large white box chassis rails. You got to have those, of course, with the uh, Cross RC logo on them. And then this is another big white box inside a big white box. Now that I put that on the floor, the cat's going to find the napkin. So in this box, 
is the actual body. So this is the top of the body. Again, your turret, all your hatch covers for the top, the front, back here, your uh, motor cover. This is actually also your battery access is under these covers in the back here. And then this is the bottom of the chassis. But again, that steel plate attaches here with all your running gear, your servo mounts, and all of your steering linkage is going to be inside here with all your drive and your motor sitting here in the center, your servos, and then the uh, propeller drive out back here. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Um, these, like I said, we have a few of them in stock right now. When they sell out, we'll probably put them on pre-order again. They are a little on the pricey side, but we are selling for less than what they're supposed to. I think I actually have four in stock right now remaining in the store. Uh, we are selling them for $18.99.99. It is quite a bit, but you are getting a lot of kit for the money, and it's a very unique vehicle in the fact that this is the, from what I know, there have been people who have built, like, duck kits before, but this is the only purpose-built one that I'm aware of, well, especially from Cross, obviously the only one that they're, they make right now, but the only purpose-built uh, eight-wheel drive military vehicle that's got a prop drive on it made for going in water purposely. So yeah, should be pretty fun. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and me unboxing this. Again, if you have any questions, let us know and we will talk to you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.